family, friends and fellow students came out in their numbers to bid Ndlovu farewell. She was studying towards a Bachelor of Administration degree at the University of KwaZulu Natal. Ndlovu was described as a down-to-earth person who was full of life and wanted to make success of her life. She was a model and crowned Miss Kwamashu last year. Her friends say she was determined to make a success of her life. She's the one woman who likes to be independent. She likes money, she likes to do things for the community and work as well. She said something that was unexpected about us because we usually wear black dresses. She told us that if we could wear like this and be on point and beautiful like this on our funeral, she would be very happy and more excited that we are there for her. She was so kind and a very good person who, who, who is friendly to everybody. Uh, and she was that person who is ever smiling, always just want to try new things and a very hard worker. The Student Representative Council say they will continue campaigning against gender-based violence. Uh, the university decided through the, the movement that has been uh, seen within the, the campuses, uh, so the strength that we've been imposed uh, by the student toward this uh, uh, forced the university to suspend the academic activities. Her family says her life was cut short. She was a hard-working lady. As she was injured, going to, to work, she was having so good dreams, but those dreams didn't come true. The community is outraged. Msinga. As community from Msinga, we are against this, and it gives us bad name. We will be in court to oppose bail. She was laid to rest at her home cemetery in Inanda. The suspect is expected in court on Wednesday. Ndlovu's family and friends say the man should be refused bail. Londe Khatebe, SAPC News, Inanda.